All right, I want to welcome in everybody here to LaFrance Gymnasium here at Bishop Connolly High School in Fall River, Massachusetts. How are you doing, everybody? I'm David Cardozo on the call for this home game, this NJCAA matchup between the Bristol Community College Bayhawks and Bren, Ben Franklin Institute of Technology. I want to welcome everybody on this Thursday evening, holiday season. Ben Franklin is in the royal blue with the gold, with the gold trim and Bristol Community College in their gray home uniforms with the white. Bringing the ball up for the Bayhawks is Stanley Freeman, number one, sophomore. Nice crossover there by Freeman. Fadeaway jumper is good. Bristol with a big win on Tuesday. Big come from behind win. And a game where they started off slow, but they got their fourth victory Tuesday night. against Mass Bay in conference play. That three-pointer from the wing is no good. Rebounded by the Bayhawks. Chad Ngia drives to the hole, can't get it to go. Rebounded by number 25. Almost knocked away from Ngia from behind. Corralled by Lopes. Oh, nice bounce pass by Lopes, and they're going to call 
call travel. Too many steps there, but a nice look there by Lopes. 3-2 in the early going. We're just getting underway. Bristol playing a top-heavy schedule away, away from good old LaFrance Gymnasium this year. But they are 3-0 here in the good old city of Fall River. Four and three overall. Bristol in zone, three-pointer, it's good. Tickles the twine. And Ben Franklin has an early six to two lead. Chad and Gia had a huge game on Tuesday against Mass Bay with nine three-pointers. In the paint is Hendry, Tejan Hendry, Second attempt, third attempt, can't get it to fall. Going into the lane, there's some contact there. Referee's going to call a foul. And they're going to call it on number 11 there, Tejan Hendry. First free throw was missed there. Both free throws missed, rebounded. Possession arrow in favor of Ben Franklin. Ben Franklin going to have to shoot it. Three-pointer. And they're going to call a push on Chad Angia. Ben Franklin, 17 on the shot clock. That zone active for Bristol. Going into the paint, wild shot. Corralled by Hendry with the rebound. Driving to the hole is A.B. Madrano, reverse layup. Is no good, tipped up by Hendry, but then corralled by Ben Franklin. Oh, nice cut to the basket by Hendry and the pass by A.B. Madrano. And the charge is going to call a timeout. We're going to take a break here, and we'll be right back after this. All right, I want to welcome everybody on our Facebook live stream. Thanks for joining us again. For more Bayhawks basketball, your Bayhawks 4-3 here on the young season. Taking on Ben Franklin Institute of Technology, the Chargers in the Royal Blue. Again, I'm David Cardoza on the call. And Bristol going for their second win here at home this week. They could use it. Be good to get that fifth victory. And Ben Franklin's going to inbound here. And Bristol's going to pick up man. With the basketball right now is Bryson Gully. Ooh. The kick out, the corner three is no good. Rebound. Three point shot drains it. Number 25, Bryson Gully. From Mattapan, Mass. Buries that one. Ben Franklin has the early lead, 9-4. Freeman finds Angia. That's his shot, three-pointer. Can't find it. A little hesitation. Stop. Ooh, Freeman gets a piece of it. Getting knocked to the floor is Hendry. 
And we'll see what the call is. And they will call a push. The foul is going to be on Alizé Gilmore from Rosendale, Mass. And now Ben Franklin playing man-to-man, -man, matching up against Bristol. Freeman finds Hendry. Nice pass inside, and Hendry lays it in. Nice find by Freeman. And we talked earlier, earlier this week and earlier this season, Bristol needs to find that playmaker, that primary ball handler, that floor general, Stanley Freeman. It's going to have to be that guy. Three-pointer by Gilmore is good. I'm sorry, Gully. Bryson Gully with a second three-pointer in as many trips down the floor. 12-6 lead now. Freeman. I think we're going to have an offensive foul. And it is. I'm going to call that foul on number 13. Crayshawn, Naomi. Bristol now back in zone. That ball's knocked away. It's going to be off Ben Franklin. Both the Bristol men and the women's team off to good starts. The Bristol women, six and two. They are doing very well. Freeman fades, up, fades back in the corner and gets the friendly bounce. Stanley Freeman. Oh, that pass sails through. Sails through and out of bounds off the hands of number 10 there, Alizé Gilmore. But that was a bullet of a pass. Gilmore just couldn't handle it. Freeman driving baseline, and he's going to get fouled on the, on the floor on the way to the basket. Foul's going to be on Ty Blake. Freeman to inbound from the... From the near sideline over here. 12 and a half to play here in the first half. Not much offense. Ooh, pick, almost picking his pocket there is Alizé Gilmore. Five on the shot clock. Bristol going to be forced to shoot. A.B. Madrano fades back off one foot. Can't find it. And a nice offensive rebound there by number 13. Freeman's going to reset the offense. Ten on the shot clock now. Chad and Gia. Freeman wants to get it inside. He's going to have to be forced with a leaner. He's going to go up the glass. Rebounded by Gilmore. Ben Franklin looking to push. Gully. He likes that shot. Bristol extending the zone. Defending the three-point line. Kayon Griffith. Oh, that pass. He telegraphed that one, and then Bristol gets the ball and then loses it right back. Ty Blake at the point guard. The three-point shot from deep is good. From Bryson Gully. That's his third three. And he gives uh, Ben Franklin a 15-8 lead. He's been deadly from outside. Madrano on the drive, loses it in the paint. And they're going to say it's Chargers basketball. Happy Thursday, everybody. Happy holidays. And there's going to be a timeout on the floor. We're going to take a break here, 15-8. Ben Franklin Chargers in the lead over Bristol. We'll be right back after this.
All right, welcome back, everybody, to Bishop Conley, the France Gymnasium, the place I like to call the pressure cooker. It's warm and steamy in here. It's warm and balmy in here. A little chilly outside. Ooh, B fit sending it, setting up a double pick there. Bristol picked up on it, though. Good defense by Bristol. Gully with the basketball. Freeman staying with him. Fade away, three-pointer by Gully. Not going to get it to go this time. Rebounded by Freeman. Freeman, pass inside. Hendry with a nice little pivot. And the rebound by number 13, Crayshawn Naomi. And he's done a good job on the glass. He was a key contributor in the last game. Tuesday night against Mass Bay. And Kion Smith will lose that ball out of bounds. And Bristol will get the ball right back. Driving is Angia. I believe he's going to get fouled before the shot, though. Or they might call it on the shot. He's going to the line. So, yes, he will, he will go to the line for two. Foul's going to be on Ty Blake. One thing I've learned, well, I've always known, but about this team on Tuesday, they were very resilient. They were down by double figures in the second half. They were shut out for the first nearly seven minutes in the second half, only to come from behind in that game to take a very comfortable win. And they were led by this man right here. Over 30 points. He was our Bayhawks player of the game, and he continues to he continues to impress. Keon Smith in the open court, buzzing like a bee. Nice bounce pass inside, and blocked by Henry. Henry blocks Gilmore. Freeman takes it back out, sets up the offense. Ben Franklin, a man to man. And Gia thinks, thinks about it. Nice move. Oh, air ball there. One thing about Chad and Gia, he can, he can get his shot off from anywhere. Despite being of a little smaller stature. Driving to the hole is Ty Blake going up and. Oh, I thought there would have been a travel call there. Tyon Smith, I mean Tyon Griffin. Can't get that one to fall. Sorry, Keon Griffin. A.B. Madrano from the top three-pointer. I believe Ty Blake had a piece of that. Number one, Ty Blake had a piece of that shot. And now Ben Franklin with the basketball. Looking to drive. Oh, no, kicking it back out now. Jason David with the basketball, number 20. 10 on the shot clock. Bristol playing good defense in the half court. Driving. The floater in the lane. Can't get it to go. Gully couldn't get that one to go. Up ahead. Getting wild over here. And we'll see what the referee calls. Referee just blew his whistle. And the foul is going to be on blue 10. That's going to be Alize Gilmore. Looking inbound, Stanley Freeman. Freeman to a cutting Madrano in the paint. Up fake, and he couldn't get it to go. Rebounded by Ty Blake. Bristol will force you to go deep into the shot clock. They're not going to get up, they're not going to give up too many freebies. Look at this matchup right here. Around the back. Finds Gilmore in the corner. Air ball. And it's going to be going Bristol's way. We have a substitution on the court. Joe Lopes going to come in for Tejon Hendry. Here's Angia. Angia on the drive. Little floater in the lane. He gets it to go. Bristol pulls within one. 
Shannon G with a little nifty move. Good patience there in the paint to score it. Both teams with four team fouls. There's that double pick again. Still not working though. Three pointer by Alize Gilmore off the side of the rim. Bad shot. Freeman looks up. Finds St. Gia. Touchdown. And Bristol takes a lead 60 to 15, just like that. Chargers were up by seven, and Bristol goes on a little run here to take a one-point lead. Seven minutes, two seconds to play in the first half. So that's a, been the story for Bristol. It's been a in the games we've called here. Game, it's been games of runs. Bristol can go on a big run at any time. And they got the players to do it. You talk about the offensive guns, the top three scorers for Bristol. They can get it done in many, many different ways, especially from the outside. Chad Ngia, I mean, he put on a offensive, uh, a big offensive display, a big offensive explosion on Tuesday. But Stanley Freeman, Chad Ngia, and um, A.B. Madrano, all averaging over, <laughs> over 15 points a game on the season so far. That triple threat, that triple threat monster can get it done. And they are, they're all deadly from outside. 16 to 15. You know, we talk every year, what is going to be the identity of this team? What is, going to, what is going to be the identity? And I think the identity of this team right here is going to be their three-point shooting. Going all the way to the lane is Keon Griffin. And that ball gets smacked out of bounds. Referee says blue is going to remain Chargers' ball. Inbound to the basketball is going to be Ty Blake. Bristol in zone. 12 on the shot clock. Ooh. Number 35 wasn't expecting that pass. Dariel Tomoda. Ooh, in the open court, getting that ball stolen away. Going back the other way is Ty Blake. And they're going to score it. And he's going to go to the free throw line. And they do score it. Let's see who that foul is on. And that foul is going to be on Joe Lopes. And they're going to call a lane violation. They're going to call it on the Chargers. So no shot. Only 17 to 16. Not an offensive showcase, that's for sure. Cut to the basket is Angia using his body. Nice job. Scoring two. Nice pass from Freeman, again creating. Bristol bench getting into it. 18-17. Both teams trading leads now. Driving to the basket. Nice nifty move there by Gilmore. Puts it up with the left. Showing off the dribbling skills there. 19-18. Another lead change. Freeman crosses over. Gets, gets to the basket. And... Draws the foul. So Stanley Freeman will step to the line for two. Stanley Freeman last year in his freshman season was a starter on a Bayhawks team that had historically their best season since, since its inception. It's new its reincarnation back in 2009 under coach Rob Del Lou. Long tenured coach here at Bristol with over with 176 wins. But he was part of that team last year. Bay, the Bayhawks last year enjoyed their highest ranking in the school's history at the number reaching his highest number four as Freeman hits both free throws. Another 
Lead change. Here's Keon Smith. Blake driving to his left. Nice up fake there. Way off the mark, though. Rebound was by A.B. Madrano. Now Freeman with the basketball. Freeman, nice bounce pass inside to Lopes. And that ball was almost knocked away. Or Either way, Ben Franklin with the basketball. Ooh, I thought that might have been a double dribble there. Keon, that ball short. Keon Griffin with that shot, that was short. And they're going to call a foul on Dariel Demota from Lynn Mass. And he's going to step out. Substitution. Dariel Demota will go out. Number 10, Alze Gilmore will come in. And number 25, Bryson Gully, he'll take a seat. He's been their leading scorer in this first half of the Chargers. Hitting three threes out there. And Gia up top. And Gia driving to the left. And they're going to say he stepped out of bounds. On the baseline. 4.41 to go. First half action. Is Keon Griffin. Keon Griffin Daniel is his whole name. Crossing over around that double pick. Still can't get anything. And they're going to call a kickball. Or a push. Yeah, they're going to call a foul on that one. Push off by Keon Griffin Daniel. 20 to 19, the home team with the one point lead. Coming up on four minutes to play in the first half. Freeman for three. Nails it. Stanley Freeman. Giving Bristol a four-point lead. And he's gotten so much better at that outside shot. That three-point shot especially. Blake in the corner. Driving is Keon Griffin. And they're going to call a charge. Good job there. Good way to sacrifice his body. Got, got into the paint, got the position. And those are the things you need to do, those little things, to get possessions back. 18 fouls, by the way, on the visiting Chargers. Only five for Bristol. Bristol playing good defense and staying out of foul trouble. Always a good thing. Freeman, oh, nice bounce pass inside and scoring it. Is that man right there, Krayshawn. 25-19, Bristol extended their lead. Fourteen on the shot clock, Bristol Giving Ben Franklin fits. Gilmore in the post was got double team there. And they're going to call a blocking foul. It's going to be on A.B. Madrano. <laughs> 25-19. Just a little bit over three minutes to play. Bristol found themselves down earlier in the first half by seven. Now up by six. Here's Keon Griffith. The little man with the ball skills. Oh, that's a travel. Nestor Madrano. Don't think there's any relation to A.B. Madrano, our A.B. Madrano here at Bristol. But he's called for a travel. Bristol with the basketball. Another possession for them. Looking to extend this lead. Here's Angia. Angia looking to drive. And 
They're going to call a foul on Gilmore. Chad and G is fearless when he gets to the paint. He don't care. He's going to try to get it to the rack. He's not just a three-point shooter. He's a guy that can drive to the hole and create. Create his own shot. Get into the paint and get to the free throw line. But you definitely got to respect that long-range jumper. He's a leading scorer for this Bayhawks team as he calmly, softly sinks that shot. Seven point lead, looking to make it eight right here. And Gia makes it up by eight. Look at that three, it's gonna be short. Missed by Del Barros. Freeman looking to push. Freeman pulls it back out. Doesn't need to rush anything. Ben Franklin playing a man. Ooh, nice. Pass inside, the entry pass. Hendry loses it. Thought maybe he got bumped. Referee doesn't blow his whistle. Blake going to the other end. Going back this way. Nanny, Krishan can't get it to fall. Bristol missed a lot of layups in the last game. Oh, going to the hole and scoring it. Thought they might have been a charge. That would have been the second charge taken by Chad and Gia. This time they don't call it. And Bryson Gully will step back up to the line. He's back in the game. That's a big, that's a big, solid young man. You don't want that guy coming in at you full force, going to the basket, running you over. It's a one-on-one -on -one situation. I'm sorry, three-point play situation. Three-point play, 27-22. Forgot he made the shot. You get the ball in the post if you're Bristol. Getting inside to Krishan Narni. Freeman from the elbow. The jumper is no good. And they're going to say that's off. Uh, they're going to say that's off the of charges. Going to stay Bristol basketball. To me, clearly it went off number 25, Rice and Gully, but he was trying to lobby on his defense. There was nobody else around. Minute 19 to go. If you're just joining us, five point lead for Bristol. There's Krishan Nerny, can't get it to fall. Freeman comes away with it, gets it back in to Krishan. Krishan in the post, kicks it back out. They swing it. 10 seconds on the shot clock. If I'm Freeman, just go. Drive to the basket. Drive to the basket. Can't do it now. That three-pointer is going to be way off. Had to force it at the, at the end of the shot clock there. And Ben Franklin has a chance to climb into it more. We got a long way to go. Keon Griffin, Daniel calling the play. There's that double pick. They kick it back out. They got what they want. Three-pointer is good by number 25, Bryson Gully. His fourth three-pointer of the half. And he pulls his charges within two. And they're going to call a foul on Ty Blake on Stanley Freeman coming over the timeline. And Coach Fernandez loves it. That's going to put Bristol in the double bonus. They'll be shooting two here. With 28.6 to play. Coach Brian Fernandes taking over for
Coach Rob Del Lou. They made the move this, this fall. And Coach Brian Fernandez in his first year looking for win number five today. Second free throw was good. Four point lead. Chargers, Ben Franklin Institute Technology, they don't need to, they can take their time. They don't need to go to the basket just yet. Shot clock is off, they'll hold on for the last shot here. Ty Blake, oh, finds, finds a big man inside and he lays it in. Dario Demoto with the score, putting it up as Freeman. Off the glass, no good. All right, so this is a tight one here in the first half. You know how these games go here at the Pressure Cooker. I'm David Cardoza. Thank you, everybody, for watching our live stream on our Facebook page. 29 to 27, your Bristol Community College Bayhawks have a slim lead. But join us in just uh, 15 minutes or so for a second half action live here from LaFrance Gymnasium in Fall River. We'll see you in just a little bit. All right, everybody. Welcome back to LaFrance Gymnasium here in Fall River, Massachusetts, home of the Bishop Conley Cougars and home of your Bristol Community College Bayhawks. Your Bayhawks have the lead here at the half. We're getting ready for second half action. I want to welcome in all of our, all of our audience on our Bristol Community College Athletics page on Facebook. Thanks again. All right, so we're getting ready for second half action. Our leading scorer of all scorers, that man right there, inbound to the basketball, Mr. Gully. 20 points in the first half. Leading scorer for Bristol, Stanley Freeman, the sophomore, Chad and Gia. And there's Gully for three right off the bat. Can't get it to go. So we're underway here. Bristol looking for its fifth win. Medrano kick back up to Freeman. Lopes on the drive now. Stops in the lane. Pops it. Gets it to fall. And Bristol has a four-point lead. Driving to the basket, up and under. Good defensive play by there by Lopes. Stanley Freeman looking to push. Drives strong to the hole, puts it up off the window and in. Bristol back up by six. Keon Smith gets it inside to Gilmore, working on Hendry, turning around jumpers, way off. Didn't even square up to the basket. Freeman, nice loft, nice pass to Hendry. That's a nice pass by Freeman. And the Bayhawks are up by eight. Bayhawks off to a little run there. 35 to 27, 18, 34 to play. We're gonna take a break right here on FR Media, your Bayhawks Broadcasting Network. All right, Bristol's going to pick up man. They swing it. Griffin drives it to the lane, looking for a pass. Looking to pass and throws it out of bounds. Again, good defense by the Bayhawks. Here comes Freeman. Madrano gets it inside to Hendry. 
Henry gets it knocked away. Good defensive play there by Gilmore. I like the thought process. They do a good job of lobbing that ball into Hendry sometimes. Hendry a little bit undersized for a big man. And again, we see that double screen. Not sure what they're trying to accomplish with that, but. And I think they're going to call a foul on Hendry. Hendry with a push in the back. Number 11 there. And that's his third foul. So he's in a little bit of foul trouble. And Krishan Nerny. He comes into the game for Bristol. There's a pass in the corner. The shot by, Krish, by uh, Griffin. Rebounded by Krishan. Freeman up to Madrano. Going to the basket. Puts up a floater. No good. Rebounded by Griffith. Three pointer. Bounces up. Gets the roll. Jason David for three. Twenty on the shot clock. Lope sets the screen. Freeman gets to the basket, loses it. No foul call. Here's Jason David in the backcourt with Bryson Gully. And they're going to call a foul. They're going to call a foul away from the basket on number 10. And that's going to be his third foul. And coming into the game for Alizé Gilmore is going to be number 35, Dariel Tomota. Bristol up five. Here's Angia. There's a screen by Nerny. All the way to his left and putting it up with his right at Chad Angia. Nice drive to the basket. Nice screen there by Nerny. Well, he does a lot of little things well. Hits him. He hits... Uh, Krishan Nerny hits some key shots down the stretch, hits some key free throws in the waning seconds there to ice the game against Mass Bay. He's also averaging seven and a half points a game, talking about number 13, Krishan Nerny. That ball, Jason David can't handle the pass by Griffith, and Bristol will get the ball right back. 37 to 30 is the score. Raymond, here's Madrano. Madrano, too much dribbling there, gonna lose it. David, hesitation move, uses the body. Tried to put it up with the left, couldn't get it to go, but he'll step to the line for two. David buries the, the first free throw. Score was only 29 to 27, so not a great offensive input output by either team in that first half. And on that free throw, it gets knocked out of bounds. And it looks like it's going to be off, it is off Nerny from Bristol and Ben Franklin. And uh, Ben Franklin will inbound the ball underneath their own basket. A couple seconds to get it in there. Nice steal there by Lopes. Lopes going to go to the rack, and he loses it. Got to get it. Oh, but they're going to say it's off B-Fit. They're going to say it's off Ben Franklin. Great job by, by Lopes to get the steal off the inbound pass. But you got to get it to the hands of a guard, son. Here's Freeman. Freeman being guarded by Blake. Freeman pops, gets it to go. Freeman with the short jumper just outside the paint. He likes that little shot right there. He's a leading scorer for Bristol right now. 
as they are up eight. Twelve on the shot clock. Ben Franklin, they're fumbling around with the ball right now. Blake double pumps a three-pointer. Not a good shot. And Gia, he's got speed. All the way to the rack, he loses it. And who comes away with it is Kayon Griffith. And loses it back to Bristol. And Bristol loses it, and it goes back to Ben Franklin. What a sequence. That ball like a, like a bar of soap. Defense. 39 31. Defense. 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 Griffith in the corner to Jason David for three, and he sinks it. Jason David and Ben Franklin hanging around within five. A lot of time here. Don't go away for sure. These games here at the pressure cooker are always barn burners. Never a dull moment. Lopes holding the ball for too long. Nairney comes away with the loose ball. Can't get the bunny to go. Three-point shot by Griffith, short. Number five, Keon Griffith. Keon Griffith Daniel. He reminds me of uh, Kevin Hart out there. Thirty nine, thirty four. Here's AB Madrano. He's been quiet. Medrano, bounce pass inside to Hendry, who gets it to Nerny. Loose ball. Hendry, nice hustle. Somehow spins it to the lane. Gets it, gets it off the glass, and it falls. Way to stick with it, Tejon Hendry. That jumper is no good coming off. Rebounded by Bryson. Gets it stolen away by Freeman. Hendry in the open court. Got a finger roll that home. Finger roll that one home, a la George Gervin. The sweet finger roll and the deuce. 43 to 34, Bristol has a nine point lead now. Driving, trying to muscle his way in. Freeman comes up with a hell of a block there. To Nerny, puts it about the glass it in. Bristol on a run. Chargers want timeout. 45 to 34. 12 28 left to play. Bristol on a run. We're going to take a timeout here, and we'll be right back here on FR Media Presents Bayhawks Basketball. We'll be right back. All right, welcome back, everybody. After that timeout, the Chargers needed it. Bristol starting to get their fast break game going. And they're just they're just playing that patented Bristol defense. They're forcing the other team to take shots deep into the shot clock. They're causing turnovers. And they're getting out, they're getting out on the fast break now. And there it is. Playing man to man. Driving to the hole. And Jason David's going to pick up the foul. And I think they're going to call it on Chad and Gia. To me, Bristol is at its best when they're playing man to man. But I tell you what, Brian, Coach Brian Fernandez does a good job of, of just not sticking with one defense. He's got different looks with the zone. And when they absolutely need to have it, because it's sometimes it can be playing tough man to man. The whole game. It's going to take a lot of endurance, a lot of mental focus, a lot of mental toughness. But it's definitely something when he needs it, 
Coach Brian Fernandez goes to it, and it's effective. Seems to be a little bit more effective than their zone play. We've seen it last game. It was very effective against Mass Bay. When Bristol went to, when Bristol went to play a man-to-man -man defense, I mean, they caused, they caused havoc, caused a lot of turnovers, got back into that game. And when they got away from it, Mass Bay got back into that game. And there's a turnover. And what did they, who? I'm not sure if they called a push. If they called a foul away from the ball. 45-35. Ty Blake going all the way to the lane and scoring it. Nobody stopped ball. He got right into the lane. And the Chargers pull within eight. Here's Stanley Freeman. Big man out there playing defense, staying in front of Freeman. Frustrating him. Oh, nice lob. Pass and slam! Holy cow, he got up. Tayshawn Hendry with the facial. Rocking the house. Holy cow. He got up on that one. Place came unglued. Freeman, oh, nice fake of the pass. The layup is missed by Freeman by cleaning up the mess. It's Krishan Nerny. And Bristol's up by 12 now. And Ben Franklin looks out of sorts. Boy, that jam by Henry. I said he was a little bit undersized for a postman, but when you got ups like that, I never knew. Bake, Blake gets into the paint, and he gets the friendly roll. And I believe they're going to score it. They do. And he'll go to the line. And boy, they needed that. Bristol on a heck of a run. Getting the home crowd on their side. And getting the home crowd all riled up with that last jam. Forty nine thirty nine. And Blake misses the free throw. We're going to be approaching the ten minute mark. Almost halfway through this second half. And Gia gets it inside. And I think they're going to call the foul on Hendry. That's going to be his fourth. Bristol can't afford it. Can't afford to lose that man right now the way he's been playing on the interior. The freshman, number 10, Joe Lopes, will come in. Driving. And they're going to call that foul before the shot. Let's see who they call it on. They're going to call that foul on number 13 for Sean Nearney. That's his third. Bristol going to be careful there. Inbound pass goes inside to Bryson Gully. And he's going to get fouled. And Bristol who wasn't in foul trouble in the first half, they find themselves in foul trouble now. Tejon Hendry. And they're going to call that foul on Chad and Gia. That's his fourth. Tejon Hendry, he's on the bench for Bristol. And, yep, Brendan Narciss is going to come in for Angia. But he has to come out. A lot of time left to go. Chad and Gia, one of their key players. One of the big time scorers. He comes out of the game. And Tejon Hendry's on the bench. And um, also, Christian Nerny, he has three fouls. Those are three key, three key players. And also, the Chargers get the benefit of the bonus. 17 fouls on Bristol. And they only the Chargers only have three team fouls. Bristol has the lead, though. Freeman. And they're going to call a push. They're going to call. They're going to call a foul away from the ball on number 25. That's only his first, though. So uh, the Chargers, Ben from Bren Franklin. And 
um, going to be another foul on the Chargers. I was just going to say, Chargers are in good shape as as far as uh, fouls are concerned, but that's their fifth team foul, so they're climbing up there. Oh, nice inbound play. Medrano couldn't connect, though. Blake with the basketball. He's quick. Kicks it out to the corner. Stepping back, the three-pointer. It's good. Watch out for that, man. That step back three. He doesn't need much separation. He gets it, though, to get that three-pointer off. Bryson Gully on that last trip. Going to the lane. Brendan Narciss wanted the foul. Doesn't get it. Oh, Griffin with a nice little stutter step. Nice little move there. Can't get it to fall. And then Bryson Gully gets the rebound. And he'll step up to the line for two as he gets fouled there. And this one's starting to get a little dicey. From the France Gymnasium. Again, thank you for our Facebook audience to tune, tune in on this FR Media Present special, Bayhawks basketball on a Thursday night. First free throw was missed. Second free throw is good by Krishan Gully. He pulls his charges within five. Coming up on the nine-minute mark. In this NJCAA contest, Freeman. Bounce pass to Lopes. That fadeaway jumper is way short. Air ball. Blake, he's got heck of a speed. The layup attempt is no good. And then they're going to call a foul on, on number 33. They're going to call a foul on Nestor Madrano. And it's going to be Bristol basketball. So that's their sixth team foul. Nestor Madrano will come out, and Dariel Demoto will come in. Number 35 is in now. Ben Franklin matching up man against Bristol. And what do we have? Let's see what that call is. They're going to call a foul. And I believe it's going to be on. Not sure what the call was there. In the corner, Jason David is no good. And Bristol with the basketball. And that foul. Okay, so that foul previously was on Brendan Narciss. That explains the uh, change of possession. And now Bristol's going to be in the bonus. That's a 17 foul, so both teams are in the bonus now with lots of time to go. Eight minutes and 17 seconds to play. Krishan. Krishan Nerny. Only a 56% free throw shooter. But he hit a couple that counted the other night that sealed the deal ultimately for the Bayhawks in a win over Mass Bay. And second free throw, can't get it to go. Nice heads up play there by Lopes to kick it out, to tap it out there. Here's Freeman. Got to get something going to the basket. Freeman getting into the lane, puts it up. Oh, could have put enough oomph in it. Nerny on the, on the second attempt, couldn't get it to go on the offensive rebound. Oh, nice pass. Nobody guarding Alze Gilmore. Nice pass there by Blake. And the Chargers. They find themselves on a little bit of a run here. They're on a 7 nothing run. Freeman, they telegraph that pass. Look at that. In the open court, Blake 
Coach Fernandez is going to have to get a timeout. Surprised he hasn't called one yet. And now the, uh, the, the Chargers bench getting into it, and Coach Fernandes will call a timeout here. So the Chargers, after falling down by 12, 49 to 37, they are on 11 to 0 run against the Bayhawks with 7-16 left to play. They've had a heck of a run, a heck of a run of winning the past several seasons, and they've had some great players. Here, your career, your career points leader, Zachary Vega. Believe it or not, last year, two-year starter for them. 1,101 points. Behind him was Joshua Winbush, who moved on to Division II team in Texas. He scored 1,027. Again, Bristol last year with its best record they ever had, 26-4. and four. Went 24-2 and two in the conference, only lost one game here. And we're one of the leading scoring teams in the country, averaging nearly 96 points, nearly 96 points a game. Bristol did lose in the semifinal of the NJCAA Region 21 tournament. They fell last year in that semifinal round. Chad and Gia to a cutty. Oh, gets that ball stolen away. Bryson Gully gets the floater. What a methodical approach. He took his time getting down court, but he knew what he was doing. And just like that, wow, what's going on here? A one point lead now for the Chargers. Let's see how the Bayhawks respond. Medrano kicks it to Freeman from the wing. Gets it to go. That's a big shot. That's a big boy shot there by Freeman. Holy cow. 52 to 50, and the Bayhawks reclaim the lead just like that. That was a big shot there by the sophomore. Keon Griffith gets that ball deflected. We'll see what they we'll see what they call here. It's going to be Chargers basketball. Blake gets it into the corner to Alize, drains it, ties the game. Alize Gilmore, number ten, ties the game for the Chargers. Freeman going to the floor. And they're going to call a, flower, a foul on Alize Gilmore. That's going to be his third. And we're coming up on the six-minute mark. Six minutes to play and change. Both teams are in the bonus. Both teams will be shooting one-on-ones. From now till the end. So Freeman will take a, he'll shoot a front end of a one on one. Eight team fouls on the Chargers. One more foul by Bristol and the Chargers will be saying, they'll be shooting two, two shots from here on out. First free throw is good by Freeman, gives Bristol the one point lead. Has a second opportunity now. And the second free throw is drained home by Stanley Freeman. And now Bristol with the man-to-man -man pressure over the court. Blake is just fast. You got to get someone to get, that can stay in front of him, someone who's long, like this guy, Nerny. Driving to his left, using his body. Blake, but he can't get it to fall. Rebound was by Hendry. Pushing it is Freeman. Medrano, nice little move in the paint, gets it to go. A.B. Medrano. And Bristol up by four. Driving, using his body. And they score the basket. And Gully, he is, um, Bryson Gully has carried his this Charger team on his back.
Bryson Gully. Heck of a game for that man right there. Had 20 at the half. Thirty plus now. He's been a he's been a big catapult for this team here in the in just the last five minutes. They were down, they were down and dead. Free throw was missed. Finds the ball again. Ripped away from Nearney. Oh wow. Sca almost a scary turn of events there. Lopes had the rebound. Chargers had an opportunity. Freeman, I, I have a feeling like this is his game. Freeman going to the basket, he'll go to the line. And both teams will have nine team fouls now. I think if you're Coach Fernandes, you want the ball. You want the ball in Freeman's hands. Whether he's going to get in the paint and go to the free throw line, taking a big shot from the perimeter, or or making the right decision with the basketball or driving and dishing, passing. Freeman, first free throw was good. Second free throw. Lots of pressure. Puts them up by four. Freeman, such a pro. Seventeen on the clock. Shot clock. Keon Griffin gets it into the corner. That three-pointer is no good. Now we have a loose ball. A.B. Madrano. Freeman going back the other way like a freight train. Oh, hands it off to Nerny who scores it underneath. I told you, you want the ball in Freeman's hands. He drives, he delivers, he dishes. Bristol up by six, three-pointer by DeBarros, and he can't, he just can't buy a bucket from out there. Kellyan DeBarros has missed his last couple opportunities, and Gia from the top. Oh, that would have that would have put another nail in the coffin. Chargers are alive with an, under four minutes to play. Both teams just shy of the bonus, both with 19 fouls of the double bonus. Blake puts on the burners, goes to the basket and lays it in. Driving past their knee. Cuts this Bristol lead to four. That's a good matchup here. Blake and Freeman. Jumper by Nangia, no good. And that ball's going to go off the Chargers. Ben Franklin Institute of Technology in Boston. Making the trip up here. South to Fall River. It's been a good game. 60 to 56. Both teams' offenses have come more alive here in the second half, I'd say. Oh, nice little fake there by Freeman. Gets it to the lane. Finger rolling. Finger rolling. We're rolling, baby. What a move there by Freeman. Someone has a broken ankle. 62 to 56, under three to play. Cut to the basket, Blake, and they're going to call a travel. Catches the ball, doesn't put it to the floor. That's a big turnover. Bristol gets the ball right back. Here's Freeman. Is it safe to say that he might be the, our floor general? Here's Angia. And Gia driving to his left, uses that body. Oh, how did that end up in there? Line drive basket. That's a big basket there. And Gia been kind of quiet tonight. Nice pass inside by Gully. But DeBarrows just, just couldn't really get the handle on it, it feels like. And wow, what a game. Freeman driving to his left, little stutter step. And they're going to call a push. It's going to be on DeBarrows, who couldn't stay with him. Freeman just has that little hesitation move. 
And then when he gets you to bite on it, he could, he could just blow right by you. What a run. I mean, you talk about you talk about a trend of events. Bristol went on a run to extend their lead to 40, 49 to 37. They had a 12-point lead. And then Ben Franklin made their run to take a one-point lead to make it 50 to 49, but it was short-lived because right after that, this man right here, Stanley Freeman, next possession, three-pointer from the wing. Bristol's never looked back. That made it 52 to 50. And since then, Bristol on a 14 to four run. Jason David from the wing, he had that shot altered by you know who. Rebound by Daniel DeMotor in the putback. Score two for him, 66 to 58. Freeman for three, no good. Had the open shot, why not? Keon Griffin loses that ball underneath the basket. Somehow that three-pointer, way off. Nerney, oh, he had Angia, still has him. Angia scores two. Good job by Nerney in the open court. Did find Angia. Three-pointer by Blake. Desperation three, and Bristol, Bristol with a 10-point lead and the basketball. Looks like this one is pretty much academic. You talk about Bayhawks. Sixty-eight to fifty-eight, and going to the line is A. B. Madrano. And that one is, that first attempt is short. 45.5 seconds, Bristol well on their way to a fifth victory. Three-pointer by Blake, no good. They're gonna call in Gia for no, they're going to call that on. Foul's going to be on Joe Lopes. I thought number 35 right there. I thought he was over the back. Referee didn't see it that way. Okay, your Bristol, your Bristol Community College men's team, Bayhawks, their next contest. It was actually this Saturday at Gateway Community College of Connecticut. As they wrap up here, Chargers with the basketball, Bristol up by 12. Going up and scoring that is Jason David. And Bristol's well on its way to uh, a victory here. Actually, this Saturday, Bristol plays at home against Gateway Community College. We won't be on the call for that one. And also, I'm sorry, this is ball jacked up here. You're right, Steve, this is the last game. <laughs> This is the last game of 2019. And they and the Bristol Bayhawks get the victory here today. 70 to 60 over Ben Franklin over Ben Franklin Institute of Technology. And what a game it was. Stanley Freeman hitting some big shots down there down the stretch. And uh 
He is our Bayhawks player of the game. So this is the last game of the of 2019 before the Christmas break for your Bayhawks. It comes earlier this year, and I thought we were just getting going. All right, so for David Cardoza, Steve Reese, and Megan, Miss Megan on the camera work, great job. Bristol with a big win here today, 70-60. to 60. They are 5-3 and three here on the young season. So we're going to wrap it up here today from LaFrance Gymnasium, the pressure cooker. Stay tuned for more Bayhawks basketball. I want to thank our Facebook audience for once again joining us. See you again in 2020.